brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to clean the throttle body on this Dodge Ram. This one's a 2008. 5.7 liter Hemi. Cleaning procedure is similar for a lot of different makes and models of vehicles. You'll need a flat blade screwdriver, 8 to 10 millimeter sockets with a ratchet and extension, a cleaning brush, rag, cleaner, and a pair of gloves. You'll want to use a 10 millimeter wrench to remove the negative terminal of your battery and set it off to the side. Open the airbox by releasing the metal clips on the side and the rear. Pop it out of its holders. Release this hose from the front. And using a flat blade screwdriver, loosen the clamp on the rear of the inlet pipe. With that loosened up, work the pipe off of the box. Remove this assembly. The bottom half of your air box simply lifts off its retainers, comes right out of the truck. Remove the two 10 millimeter bolts, one behind the alternator, and one behind the oil cap with a 10 millimeter socket, ratchet, and extension. Lift up on the air box so you can access the intake air temp sensor at the front. Push down on the connector, remove it from the IAT, remove the air box from the vehicle. Buildup inside of the throttle body is something that happens on all vehicles over time. However, it can cause the vehicle to run rough, accelerate poorly, or have poor throttle response as a result of the blade inside of your throttle body getting gummed up and sticky, restricting airflow and movement of the actual throttle body blade. Cleaning it is a simple, fast process that can really change the way your vehicle runs and feels. After disconnecting the battery, spray some throttle body safe cleaner into the throttle body, focusing on any gummy or hard built up spots. Using a toothbrush or a soft bristled parts brush, open the blade by hand Got some buildup on the back of the blade there too. Start clearing away all that gum and debris. Be sure to clean inside the actual bore of the throttle body as well, as far down as you can reach. Apply more cleaner as necessary. Make sure you break up as much of that buildup and gunk as you can. Using a thick paper towel or a clean rag, wipe all that gunk and debris out of there. Open the blade, wipe it all out of there too. Make sure you don't tear the paper towel or let anything fall down into the intake that's going to restrict flow or possibly get stuck in the head. After you've completed cleaning your throttle body to your liking, reconnect your airbox components and your battery, start the vehicle. Now the chemicals we use to clean this, as well as the gunk that we cleaned out of the throttle body, are both combustible. This can cause the engine to run rich or overcompensate and create a high idle. Might run a little rough or a little high at first, but within a few seconds, all that should even out and your motor should be running smooth again. Reinstall the end of the air box with the silicone gasket over the end of your throttle body. Tighten up the bolt behind the oil fill cap and behind the alternator with a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet and an extension. Reconnect the intake air temp sensor. Drop the lower air filter housing back onto its mounting locations. Be sure the air filter is fully seated into the housing. Reinstall the intake tube onto the air box and the PCV breather hose. Lock the lid of the air box back onto its hinge. Close it. 
lock it back down, and tighten the intake tube clamp with a flat blade screwdriver. Reinstall your negative battery terminal. Tighten it back with a 10 millimeter socket. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.